Welcome back to Master Your Glass. Negroni Week is finally here. I'm really excited about it, especially to show you this episode that I filmed in San Francisco with Jacques Bazidenot, who's a great friend of mine, an amazing cocktail expert, and quite honestly, one of the biggest enthusiasts of the Negroni you'll ever meet. On this episode, he shows us how to make a riff on the Negroni, one that he created years ago and has become very popular, and it's called the Spanish Negroni. It's a drier version to the original Negroni, uh, and on it, what I really like is that he shows us, or he gives us his tidbits on how to riff a Negroni without being too uh, far from what the cocktail is all about. I hope you enjoy it. Jacques. Yes. How are you? Good, sir. How's it going? Good, good. You and I both agree that the Negroni should not always be riffed. No. But you and I both agree that it's such a great cocktail to riff that sometimes you just got to do it. Sometimes you, you, you play should. around. That's right. So your Spanish Negroni is something that intrigues me very much. And I know you love to use sherry for mm -hmm. all the right reasons. So let's show us what you got. Right on. So I, I totally agree with you with the I, when I riff on a Negroni, I want to keep that the classic heart of a Negroni. So it should still be Campari based, gin based, or tequila based in fact. But we're going to start with a good ounce of Campari. Wonderful. And we're going to balance that with a beautiful gin. Okay. Little Tech Ray 10. So we have a lot of bold flavors going on classic Negroni style. So if you're gonna go that route, you're gonna need, especially when you do the, the sherry twist, you're gonna need a strong sherry to be able to stand up with that, up to that. And a, a wonderful Amontillado or, or Oloroso, those powerful uh, nutty notes that come through, the acid, the balance, a little bit of the brininess really holds up and can, you know, stand up to Campari, which is not an easy thing to do. And I totally agree with you. So, and then, you need a lot of dry components, um, and then you've got to come in with a little bit of sweet vermouth just okay. to round it out a little bit because that Amontillado is very dry. So about a three quarter ounce. We're gonna give it a quick stir. Okay. All right, may I help you, brother? I'm gonna let you set that right there. That would be amazing, thank you. All right, All right. I think it's gonna be real tasty. Straighten it up, get a pull that out. Good. A little Spanish Negroni here. I love that little, um, that nuttiness that comes through. And like any Negroni, that little blast of orange citrus that goes on oh, top. Yeah. And there we go. Cheers. Maron is what Count Attilio Negroni would say right now. Thank you. Ready to try this bad boy, the Spanish Negroni. Nice aroma of Campari. That orange zest is uh, is really popping. I get also the aromatics from the Tank Ray 10, maybe some grapefruit, some of those citrus notes that it has, and the brininess from the sherry. Not much more than that from the sherry on the nose. Oh. My goodness, there is so much going on in this glass. It's like a, a I feel like there's a, a circle of flavors just uh, winding in my mouth. Orange, nuttiness, brininess, Campari bitters, grapefruit from the gin. Such an amazing cocktail, such a great drink. Wow, thank you for sharing. Uh, thank you. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode with Jacques Bazidenhout and his Spanish Negroni. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with a thought and a question for you to comment below. If in fact the Negroni was born by adding gin to an Americano, then is gin the required ingredient in order for it to be a Negroni? I mean, let's think about it. If you don't add the gin, you're riffing an Americano. If you're adding all the other ingredients, you're not really riffing a Negroni, it was the gin or do at least two of any of those ingredients need to be in it or just one of any of those need to be in it or you can you just call it a Negroni and do whatever you want and it's still a Negroni riff. Let me know your thoughts below. If you gained any knowledge or if you enjoyed this uh, episode, consider giving it a like. And of course, it's always appreciated if you could subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you will get notified when there's more expert instruction 
for everyday consumption. Where you get more expert instruction for everyday consumption. And I'm holding on an orange. Bye. <laughs>